what's going on youtubers this is zen from zen world and i hope you're having a great day so we are back with a brand new episode on powers discuss where we really deep dive into uh specific powers and their quirks and just anything about the power so that we could um, talk about theories and discussions on it so today we are doing it on douglas ramsey also known as cypher so cypher his ability is omnilingualism and while that is a tongue twister it's exactly how it's signed it's omnilinguistics right the ability to understand all versions of languages so for him it's a passive ability passive meaning in the sense that he doesn't have to directly tap into a um, part of his cognition in order to use it it's um, it's done from his subconscious so when he comes in contact with something that's a brand new language whether it's um, computer code or even um, any any kind of language that comes from a sentient being, he is able to go through the process of understanding it and also decoding it as well. Now, spoiler alert in a little bit, um, in three, two, one, Douglas Ramsey, AKA Cypher, has gone through the process of passing away and also coming back through um, a modified version of the techno organic virus um, given to him by Celine. Now, once he, was resurrected, so to speak. He was able to um, ascend in his powers of omnilingualism, and where everything now became language to him. And in a sense, everything is some kind of form of communication or language. So he was able to read micro expressions. He was able to also read uh, movements and patterns on a before they even happen going by the micro expressions right so there was um one of his highest feats is that you see him fighting off the whole entirety of the the new mutants team which is um his the team that he's on um his powers are pretty cool in the sense that um you know he's able to understand unconsciously but he could direct it in in some type of way right if he says i want to learn i want to look at this book and decode this then his brain will start to work in the in the format to then decode and understand it. With him being a prominent member of the Dawn of X is because he um, was tasked by Professor X in understanding Krakoa, which is the island that all of mutants have taken refuge to create a brand new nation, the nation of Krakoa um, for mutants. So he's able to understand Krakoa, which is the sentient um, um, mutation on the island itself. and but then decode the language from Coco in order for to imprint it on all mutants telepathically. Um, one of the things um, that you'll notice on some of the later pictures when it comes to Cypher himself is that his one of his arms seems to still have the techno-organic virus, right? Or, or just part of the technar, which his best friend, who we haven't seen in any of these comic books yet, um, is is warlock now warlock is part of the technarchy which then links into what we've seen in powers of ten in that future um that high future right um we won't get into that right now but i wanted to talk about his powers and how cool it is in terms of um the possibility so omnilingualism can mean pretty much understanding of any kind of um, language or communication so anything that binds anything together the atomic structures um the zeros and ones on even on a quantum level he is able to understand um the complexities of it now is he able to understand it instantaneously absolutely not sometimes it does take time for him to go through the process of understanding but it is um, vastly um, quick compared to um, pretty much a human or even a computer to try to decode it itself. Um, so let me know what you think about um, Douglas Ramsey. I think he's a really cool character. I know his, in his first um, appearance um, in New Mutants, I think it was number 13 in 1984, he you know was seen as uh, he you know it wasn't seen that he had powers or anything like that but his powers was like when you think about it, it was like oh the ability to um understand what people are saying right but when you really think about the powers and how deep it goes that it is very vast and he's and the reason why i love what hickman has done with his character in house um house of x and powers of 10 is because his powers have literally connected pretty much everyone when it comes in terms of the, the the mutant the mutant community and race together just by understanding what the island of coco is saying i mean it's a pretty cool character um, one of the things that he reminds me of um johnny quest 
from way back in the days, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up a quick picture so you can see the comparison, but maybe not anyway. But with that being said, this is Zen from Zen World saying peace, love, and prosperity. The next powers discussed is gonna be on Domino Jesus of the X-Force. So let me know what you think about that. Um, and take care.